Hello everyone, Patrick Sieber of Sieber Consulting here with you. Today I'm bringing you a short video that could save you quite a bit of heartache and money down the road. I decided to make this little video after having to reset a client's Windows 7 password. This cost the client some good money when really all it should have cost was a bit of time. Today we'll create your password reset disk in Windows 7. The process is almost identical for Windows Vista so you Windows Vista users can also follow along. If you're on Windows XP, well, it's about time to upgrade. Or do what many computer professionals say that you really should not do, and that is to write down your password and store it in a safe location. The key here is where you store your password. And forget about the underside of the keyboard. We all know to look there first. So moving right along. In order to create your password reset disk, you'll need one of the following items. A floppy disk drive and floppy disk, or a USB thumb drive. First, I'm going to have you go ahead and insert your password reset media. Now, I'm only working with a USB key, so that's what we're going to use in this video. If you're using a floppy drive and a floppy disk, you'll need to insert your floppy disk now so that the program will find the media that is ready to use in your floppy drive. You can see here that mine has come up as D. If you're a floppy disk, it's probably A still. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on the start button and then just start typing password reset. You can see it pulled up top selection, create a password reset disk. Click on that. All right. Now all we really need to do is just follow along click next. See it correctly saw drive D. Floppy disk users you're going to want to use drive A. Hit next. Now you input the current password for your computer system. Next. Now I already had a password reset disk made and apparently I'm using the same USB key. So we're going to create a new one and make the old one unusable. Say yes. Click next. And there it is. You've successfully created your forgotten password disk. That's all there is to it. You can see it takes very little time. Hope that helps you out. And use this whenever you change your system password. Because the old password won't work.